look at sketch pictures. And for this, I'm actually just going to go ahead and start a brand new file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch right here on the front plane. Oftentimes, if you're trying to prototype something or, you know, it's kind of just that initial design, it's helpful to have a picture to work off of. And this could be something as simple as kind of just a sketched out item um, on a piece of paper that somebody took a picture of. It could be a picture of an actual uh, item that you saw out in the real world and you snapped a picture of it. Now you want to try and model that item. But a picture makes a great reference. And if you're in a sketch, you can go and insert a sketch picture just by using the sketch picture tool. So I'm just going to snag that from my search bar here. I'm going to browse to the picture I want to use. And in this case, it's the body of a guitar. And what you'll see is once I select that image, it's going to go ahead and import that image into my sketch. You may have seen this tool before, but there's a couple of things I want to show you that can make it um, a little bit easier to use. And the first one is the ability to scale. So you'll see that on the left hand side, you do have options for like the X and Y uh, dimensions. You can you know, essentially use those to position and scale this item. But sometimes it's easier to use the scale tool that you see out here in the graphics area. That's going to be that blue bar that's kind of running horizontally through the center of that guitar body. The way that this scale tool works is that you place the base and the tip of that scale tool on two points that you have a known dimension between. So let's say that I know the distance from the left hand to the right hand side of the guitar as it sits right now. I'm going to drag this scale tool to the left hand side. And then I'm going to grab the right hand side of that scale tool and you'll see that it actually expands to make it a little bit longer. And I'm just going to place the point of that scale tool right on the edge of that guitar and as soon as I place that point you're going to see that modify dialog box pop up and it's going to ask me to input whatever this distance should be. Now let's say this body is something like I don't know uh, we'll say 22 and a half inches um, from left to right as we see it now. Whenever I hit enter it's going to go ahead and scale it accordingly and it's going to shrink down that whole image um, based on that scale factor. So it makes it really easy to just kind of snap a picture. All you've got to do is have one known dimension and then you can use that scale tool to lay it across that known dimension and just type in the value accordingly. From here what I'll typically do is I will just take that uh, image and I'll reposition it relative to the origin. I will hit fit to screen to get everything centered back up and once we've kind of got the, uh, the origin and the uh, sketch picture oriented how we like, the last thing that I'm going to look at as far as the sketch picture is transparency. So you can kind of see that white background around the guitar body. It's not a huge issue, but sometimes we don't want that extra border around the image. If you have a really clean background, you can actually create your own transparency relatively easily. Um, this picture is actually not even that great. There is a little bit of a gradient around the edge of the guitar. But if I go to the left hand side and I choose the option under transparency for user to find, you're going to see that it gives me the eyedropper tool. And all it's asking me to do is actually go click on the, uh, the background of my image. And it's basically taking a color sample. So you'll see it populates the box over here on the left with the color of the background. And then I'm just going to take this matching tolerance and transparency slider and ramp them up and you'll actually see how that background starts to disappear. All right, so see as I go back the other way how it turns white and then it starts to actually turn transparent as I move all the way to the right. Now it's not perfect like I said in this image but it does get rid of probably 90% of that background which is going to make it easier as I start to move forward with this model. Um, I'll be able to see you know to the other side of this sketch picture it won't be blocking everything uh, behind it. I'll hit the green check mark to exit out of the uh, picture editing mode. And now I'm still in sketch mode, which means I have the ability to go and maybe trace this guitar body. 